In today's video, we are making a wholesome and nourishing chicken vegetable soup. We're right in the middle of January and it is freezing outside. As someone who believes in heating myself from the inside out, I find a lot of comfort in a big bowl of soup. And currently, this chicken vegetable soup is a favorite in our house. I love it because it is endlessly customizable, freezes well, and as you'll see, it is not that hard to make. So, let's dive right in. Now, if you look at the list of the ingredients, it might look like a lot, but I'll divide it into four sections just to make it easier on us. The first one is the chicken. I'm using boneless and skinless chicken thighs here, but chicken breasts would also work. The second part is the hearty vegetables. And when I say hearty, I mean onion, carrots, celery, bell pepper, garlic, potatoes, diced tomatoes, and green beans. The third part is the liquid part. I'm using a combination of chicken stock, water, and tomato sauce. But if you want, you can use all stock or all water as well. And finally, the veggies that we will add in the last minute, which are green peas, corn, and kale. These usually cook faster, so we'll add them right at the end. To start, mix together one teaspoon of kosher salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and a teaspoon of paprika in a bowl. Pat dry the chicken using a sheet of paper towel and sprinkle them with the seasoning on both sides. Heat a tablespoon of vegetable oil in a large Dutch oven over medium heat and add the chicken in. Sear for about three minutes on each side until the outside of the chicken is lightly browned. Here we're not trying to cook the chicken fully, rather just giving it a good sear to up the flavor of the overall soup. Remove them from the pot onto a plate and set them aside. Next, we'll start cooking the aromatics. Add in a tablespoon of vegetable oil into the now empty pot. Stir in the onion, carrots, celery, bell pepper, and a teaspoon ground cumin. Cook, stirring frequently until the veggies are softened for about eight to nine minutes. Stir in the garlic and cook for 30 more seconds. Then add in the cubed potatoes, green beans, diced tomatoes, tomato sauce, chicken stock, and water. Finally, add in uh, the reserved chicken, put the lid on, and bring it to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, let it simmer until your vegetables are soft and tender and the chicken is cooked, which takes about a 15 to 17 minutes. Remove the chicken from the pot and shred it into smaller pieces using two forks. And then return that back into the pot. Finally, stir in the peas, corn, and kale leaves. Bring it to one final boil and let it simmer for about like just four to five minutes until it is nice and warm. There you have it friends, a big pot of hearty vegetable soup that is packed with good for you veggies and a good amount of protein. Before I let you go, three things. One, as I was building this recipe, I had one mission and that was to pack as many vegetables as possible into the soup. But as you saw, there are so many of them. The good thing about that is that if you're missing an ingredient or two, you can either omit them or switch with something else you have in the fridge. Say, if you don't have any kale, use spinach or fresh parsley. No green beans, use broccoli or cauliflower. So feel free to play with what you have at home and make it your own. Two, this soup with all the prep takes about a good hour from start to finish. If you're short on time or want to make the say, on a Tuesday evening, you can use either like leftover chicken or store-bought rotisserie chicken. Just cut into small pieces and add it right before the last set of vegetables to just warm it thoroughly. And finally, as you saw, this made a big pot of soup. If you're a small family like us, you can place the leftover soup in an airtight container and freeze it to serve at a later time. I hope you enjoyed this video and you're putting this chicken soup into your weekly menu. 
the full printable recipe along with some more time-saving tips, ingredient substitution ideas, and also how to make this dish in a slow cooker are all on my blog foolproofliving.com. If you're a fan of these types of veggie packed soup recipes, be sure to check out my vegetable beef soup recipe as well. Similar to this one, that one is a great healthy and wholesome filling soup recipe that you can make for your family. If you enjoyed this video and learned a thing or two, it will be so helpful if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.